Hi friends, if you are looking to unlock the full potential of your WhatsApp Cloud API but are stuck because it is not installable on your phone, don't worry. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use WooSMS to integrate your WhatsApp Cloud API number for powerful chatbots, efficient customer support and targeted marketing campaigns. All this you can do with the WooSMS. With WooSMS, you can chat with your customers for free and the cost is lower compared to other platforms. Plus, it is very easy to use. So, WooSMS provides you with the tools to manage chats, creating engaging board flows and drive your marketing effort TVly. Okay guys, we can check an example. So, a customer is sending about a inquiry for our product, for their product. So, they are sending how they can track their order. So, we already created a chatbot for that. So, it is automatically sent to the customer like this as you are seeing in the video okay then the customer asks another question so can you send me some uh, demo video or installation video or something like that so we will get another automation for that so the video will be automatically sent it to the customer so you don't need to send anything for each and every time for this uh, you can set these things on the OSMS platform so in this video we are discussing that how to integrate with the, the cloud API we can use all these functions and we can directly chat to the customer creating the chatbots and creating the market templates etc on the cloud API okay guys now we can go to the meta developer platform you can see here meta for developers and you can just create an app there click on the my app section click on the my app section this is for creating the cloud api click on create app and here you can create an app so you can select your business portfolio on the last video we discussed about how to create the business portfolio and all if you want you can watch that okay now that now click on this option other option and click on next and select the business option from here and click on next and here you can add an app name and app contact email etc then you can click on create app here you can see the whatsapp option here you can click on the setup and now you can see a window like this you can select your business portfolio there and click on continue and now you can see the api window we we'll start using the api here click on the start api using the button and now the api setup window is loaded so you can just add your phone number or you can t add a test phone number for checking you can add your test phone number here and add your number here and you can you will get a verification code on your whatsapp number so you can just add it and you can click on the send message once you click on the send message a message will be delivered to your whatsapp number and it will be look like this now go back to your cloud api platform and you can add your mobile number and make sure when you are going to add a mobile number uh, you don't use your current whatsapp number you can use a new number for that otherwise you need to delete your current whatsapp business number then only you can use for the cloud api so uh, i recommend you to buy a new mobile number then you can just add it on the cloud api platform and you can add it here now you, as you, you can see in the video you can choose the business information you can just add that and you can add the business profile settings and on this step you can add your number you can add your number here you can choose your country code and you can add your business number once you add your number you will get a verification code as a text message on your number so you can add your verification code here and click on next and now your number is added to your whatsapp cloud api platform now go, we can go to the uh, app settings here you can see here so 
we can see all the app settings here so if you want to use it on the full fledged you can just add the payment method and uh, the you need to complete the business verification etc so now we are going to complete the payment method here you can just go to the payment settings and you can add your payment method here click on next and you can add your card details here so they will accept visa and mastercard and you can also complete the business verification you can click on the start verification section and you can add the start verification here you can add add your verified details click on next you can add choose your business what type of business your business type you can choose here click on next and is your business officially registered then you can just choose that option and you can complete all the details and click on next and you can choose the email recommendation method you can choose that and you can complete the verification so for this uh, video purpose i'm not going too much uh, but you want for this whatsapp cloud api for a full fledged then you can just complete the business verification okay once you complete that you can come to your app settings and click on basic here you can see your app basic details your app name and app domains url etc you can see your app id and all these things you can also add an app icon when you are going to add an app icon if you receive an error something like this you can open it on any other browser like mozilla firefox i'm using firefox so i'm just opening that firefox and just uploading it basically some chrome users get that error for when they are uploading the icon so you can just open in the firefox and you can upload these things there okay you can upload the icon make sure the size are correct like uh, you can see the size there and the png format you should add the icons and you can choose either business category or the app category and once you are done all these things click on save changes and you can just uh, make your app live so just select it on the live section just enable it the app live once your app is live wait for some time it will take some time so your app is live now now i am going back to chrome and i am just refreshing there because i am using the chrome okay guys once you are done that now go to the usms platform as you can see here go to the usms platform and click on whatsapp option here click on the whatsapp option here you can log in with your google account and you will get a dashboard like this go to the settings area of usms click on whatsapp and now come to copy your facebook app id and app secret from the facebook app dashboard you can just copy and paste it there click on save once you update that you can go to the business settings of your meta platform and add a system user i already added a system user you can add one here like this if you don't add you can just add a system user okay i already added one user so i don't need to create another so if you did not create you can create a system user here now go to the whatsapp account section oh, sorry the app section here as you can see in the video then click on assign people click on the assign people section click on the assign people and you can select the system user here and click enable the full control and click on assign and click on done now go to the whatsapp account section and you can 
add the assign that also here click on assign people so your system user can control all this thing click on assign okay guys once you are done that now go to the system usage section and click on generate new token click on the generate new token here select an app then you can see the permissions here make sure it is enabled the all these permissions are enabled on your when you are going to generate the token you can see here whatsapp business messaging and all these permissions are enabled click on generate token now a token is generated now you can copy it just copy the token and you can paste it on the USMS dashboard okay once you are done that you can also copy the whatsapp business id you can go to the whatsapp account and you can see that id from here just copy the business id and you can paste it on the USMS dashboard and now you can click on save once you are saved that your cloud api is connected to the usms platform now you can use your whatsapp cloud api for chatting and all the purposes you can use here you can also test co uh, contact you can add test contacts and you can see the subscriptions and all these things and the basic plan is free so you can just try it out and on the main profile section you can change your name password etc here now on the qr code section you can send this qr code or link to your customers for chatting and the whatsapp chat option this is the best option to chat with your customers you can chat with your customers using this option and the campaign option is for creating the marketing campaigns so here you can create the marketing campaigns you can use with your uh, pre templates which you are added on the meta platform whatsapp template section and here you can see the contact list here you can add hundreds or thousands of contacts here and you can send to your customers for marketing purpose or you can use you can add uh, any uh, how much contacts you want you can just use that you can export and import contact here on the template section this is important for marketing so you need to create new template and then it will be uh, approved by the whatsapp team so then only you can send the marketing messages so you first you need to create the template and you need to send to them like this once the uh, status is approved you can see the status is approved and the bot replace this is also very cool feature of this platform you can create the bot replace here you can create a simple bot replay you can see here we are creating a replay for the tracking option just giving a name you can track your order and all these things you can add you can add the customer first name the cloud api can capture the customer's name so it's a cool feature so you don't need to check for their number it will be auto automatically added here and you can add a trigger type it contains for some words so if a customer act for uh, ask for track or tracking or something like that so you can add that words by comma and when a customer send a message with the, these words this replay will be automatically triggered to the customer okay like this you can create another board with the video like the media head replay you can see like this you can add the video you can uh, choose the video here you can upload a video and you can add some textures for the video and you can use for your 
boat replay add some textures here you can add the trigger type add the trigger type contains and what you for what questions you need to give this reply you can just add that okay you can add that here once you are done that click on submit and for this type of board reply you don't need to get the proof the message template you can just add it very fast and easy and you can just add another options like this you can create any type of board replies here so if there is a limit for free plan so if your plan is reached you can upgrade to any other plan okay now you can add the link and all these things here it is totally uh, free so you can just try it out and check it and if you are interested you can upgrade to another plans okay you can add like this add some trigger subjects you can add with comma once you are added that click on submit our plan is limited so okay guys now you can check that okay now we are discussed about everything you can just try it out thanks for watching the video if you like the video please subscribe the channel